Hey everyone, my name is Rebecca. I'm going to be giving a tour of the San Clemente Apartments, um, which is the graduate housing available. I'm a third year in the materials department and actually I have two roommates who are also in the materials department. We live in a four bedroom San Clemente apartment, so we're missing one roommate right now. For us, the housing was guaranteed, the graduate housing was guaranteed for the first two years. I believe for you guys it might be down to one, but not sure. Either way, um, me and all my roommates also got in on the lottery for a third year, so it's possible that you could stay longer. Um, so I'm going to give you a little tour of what our place looks like. So this is one of the bedrooms. Um, we're on the first floor, as you can tell, so I'm looking out at one of the parking lots. Um, this room will look the same whether you're in a two-bedroom or a four-bedroom, so that part doesn't really matter, but we get a desk and a chair with some drawers, um, double bed and um, a closet as well as some other um, storage shelves around. If we come out of my bedroom, here I share this hallway with Leah, who's in there. Um, <laughs> we have a pretty big closet in the hall, um, but I guess uh, Leah and I like too many activities because we have some overflow here. Um, these are bouldering pads. You can do rock climbing around here and uh, Leah's golf clubs. So I share a bathroom with one other person, that's Leah, so there's two bathrooms in the apartment. This one is actually slightly smaller. Ugh, oh, wish I had a wider lens. Um, but there's also a decent amount of storage in the mirror. Hello. So really, it's pretty roomy. Um, then in the hallway, this leads to the main part of the apartment. So, pretty big. We are actually down a roommate right now, so I can show you what a room looks like if it was empty as you move in. Um, so, pretty good light from outside, monitor not included, um, and the two-panel closet, bunch of drawers under the bed, um, it's a um, double bed, and other shelf stuff. Dorm-like, but bigger than an undergrad dorm. Coming out of this room, I can also show you what the um, bigger bathroom looks like. So same shower only, window to the outside. If you were to come in the front door, that's what this angle is. Um, we have room for a TV in the living room and two couches. Um, this is our dinner table. Um, we have, we're on the first floor, so we have a patio to the outside. Um, which is pretty convenient. Um, some space for some baby plants. Um, we have our uh, workout equipment for working out from home during the pandemic. Um, and the kitchen is, a, is fairly small, but we really only have trouble when there's like a bunch of people trying to cook at once, um, because there's actually a decent amount of storage space in the corners. Um, no dishwasher, but we have this um, really big sink. There's also a composting program, which I'm a big fan of. So we put in some extra food storage shelves, too, just for a little extra space. Um, Victoria actually fit in a wine fridge as well. There's lots of wine tasting to be done around Santa Barbara. If we go outside again, this is actually a sweet location um, because it's just just off the main campus, so there's this big bike path here, and if you bike one mile, you can get to the um, engineering area where we all work. And if we go like half a mile that way, you can get to the beach. I can also show you around the complex a bit. Um, pretty much everyone bikes into campus because it's so close, so we have a lot of bike parking around. This is one of the temporary parking lots so that you can unload groceries and stuff, but the main parking garage is down that hallway. Behind the complex, there's these nice big fields for sports, so sometimes they get booked on weekends, but most of the time you can play around, do whatever you want, um, and you can see to the mountains. You, this is a pretty cloudy day for around here. Normally it's pretty clear. In the distance, you can see the parking garage I was talking about, so every resident can get a parking pass for one car to park in there if you want. Walking down this way, I'm showing you where the mailbox situation. We have a number of these just pleasant courtyard and green spaces around. Um, 
And towards the end over here, another little lawn near the laundry. That's this little lawn again. More fields and mountains. For non-pandemic times, we've got some like study rooms and shared places in there. Um, there's like a pool table as well. <laughs> um, conference rooms for practicing talks and stuff. Oh, we got a bunch of washers. And dryers. Here I'm showing you one of the other communal areas. This is in the center of the complex. So normally the community center is open and they have a bunch of events with free food in here. And a ping pong table. And there's some more laundry and other conference rooms over here. So anyway, I, I've been living here for three years. I strongly recommend moving into the San Clemente apartments. Um, not only are they subsidized um, for a great location um, compared to a lot of the other housing in Goleta, um, almost all the first years live here in their first year and I thought that was a great way to um, meet everyone in the community when I first moved here. So I've only had a good experience.